What's up everybody, this is Saladis NYC 2K8 bringing you another gameplay commentary and the topic I want to talk about is how to win a conquest match in Battlefield 3. The object of the game of conquest is to control as many objectives as you could and the, the more objectives that you control the faster that your enemy um, spawn tickets will decrease and once the, what call it, the team that ha loses all the spawn tickets loses the match so it's important to control as many uh, as many objectives as possible um, one of the other advantages when you control uh, uh, we call it control objective is that you can actually respawn at the objective and I'll show you that whether we respawn and in this particular mode the goal for Elon this particular map I should say um, they will give you um, objectives that are uh, that you're controlled. So um, we call it. Usually it's um, we call it. Usually the objectives are neutral, and both sides will need to control it. But uh, like I, uh, like I said, in this particular map, um, they allow you to have at least two objectives uh, for each team. And as you see, I am here at B. I did control the objective. You see, you're so in points. When you neutralize the objective, meaning it's not you can run that to the enemy side. And as you see there, you have to wait for the circle to complete, and that's when the flag is the objective is officially controlled. And there's an enemy here, and as you see, the sides are not quite. I'm not controlling the objective yet because the, that means that the, an enemy is here as well. And that's one thing I need to point out as well. You have to make sure that en there's no enemies, or you have to have at least a lot more allies than enemies. As you see, since I was able to kill him, now we officially control the objective. So basically, in conquest, it's basically like a tug of war, so to speak, of trying to control objectives. And as you see, when I'm doing, it's going from one objective to another. Again, there's many strategies you can do. Um, and there's no right or wrong way. Like I always uh, say about a foot three, you pick out how you wanna help the team somehow. Whether if you want to stay in an objective and guard it, or like what I'm doing, I like trying to tackle as many objectives as I could. And I was able to take down that check. As you, see, as you just heard, yeah, they have all the objectives, and you will see in the minimap, in the minimap spawn tickets decreasing rapidly, which is, like I said, the goal that we want, that, my team, that I need, and my team wants. down so what I'll do is go chase that enemy since I said all the objectives are taken trying to take down any enemy threats now and now do this movie and then we are losing the objective
Hmm. Okay, we'll just see if my teammate can get me blown up. Squad, and uh, obviously that's unfair. Well, it's time to get balanced, which is a good thing. So as you see, what you want to try to do in Conquest, let's try to Try to do things that will help in trying to get the objective. Which I'm trying to do right now. Objectives. So that's good and if you don't need to rank up. Or right, we just want to try to get higher up there in the ranks. Right, 
as you see, resulting in trying to get objectives has helped me to get at the top spot. But it's okay if you're not in the top spot because what I look for, as I said, is as long as our team wins, and that's really all that matters. But as mentioned many times, uh, if you go for objectives, uh, you will get rewarded because that's what Battlefield 3 does. So it's always good to try to do, like I said, try to do things that helps helps the team. I just saw some going there. Oh, I'm being followed. There's a nice hit marker. Some smoke. Oh, I must have over. Disabled it. Soldiers, gal tank. Now we we'll proceed to trying to get A. And as you can see, got the whole match. Uh, enemy team losing his tickets because we've been having uh, more objectives. Get it? And I'll be able to get it. Well, get the enemy, I should say. I know I rarely like using vehicles. I will use it since I will use. As much as I failed in getting that objective, at least our other objectives were not being taken. It's, like I said, there's always something to help the team win in Battlefield 3. I know that looks like a very negative situation, but in a way it's a positive one because it helped, uh, what do you call it? I helped my other teammates. To, uh, Either try to get other objectives, and someone went to my death right there, which I'm very happy about. I see that we're losing a lot of objectives. Switch my classes. That will not be controlling us. They will dodge bullets literally and figure to do that. Still here. 
was not controlling it. Oh, I knew it was a sniper. Good job, I am. Right. So I will go. Oh, we spawn here, why not? And oh yeah, I forgot to explain, as you see, since this was controlled by our we got allies, I was able to respawn here. So I could always use that as a tactical um, strategy. Again, the most important thing is going for objectives. Instead, there is a it's going to focus on the enemy, but it's more important to focus on the objectives. And as you see, I got killed because the enemy thought the same thing. I've been switching my kits from time to time. Because I feel that uh, depending on certain situations, I feel that one weapon will be useful than the other. Again, I'm not saying that's right or the only thing to do. Just know the right or wrong. Objectives, which is never a good thing. I know, I think we will get A. Oh, there's a the first warning. So I hope this video helps uh, helps you on how to win conquest matches. And as you see, I was able to be uh, we'll call it the top uh, player. And again, the only reason why is because not only I was trying to gauge versus enemy, but more importantly, going for objectives. So again, this I hope this video has been on help, uh, very helpful. And I'll check you guys later. It's Lord's T to the end. Peace.